I've never jumped out of bed so quick in my life. What's happening, my fellow geeks and geekheads? Welcome to a brand new, very exciting episode of Cosplay, Chris. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I have never jumped out of bed so quick, into the shower, charged the camera, charged the LED light to make a video. Batfleck is back from what we can see on the set of Andy Muschietti's The Flash. We knew that Ben Affleck was supposedly in this film. We then got confirmation he was gonna be in this film and there were some photos of him arriving on set to film his scenes, but now we have a stuntman in a Batfleck looking suit, which indicates we are gonna see Affleck in the suit at some point in the film. Now, some of you may have noticed my video last week about the leaked set photos from The Flash got taken down by Warner Brothers and there's honestly nothing I can do about it. I was lucky enough just to have a copyright claim. Unfortunately, 3C Films on YouTube, which I highly recommend you guys check out. Chris does amazing content. He actually got a copyright strike, which it's fucked up, man. The photo's leaked, it's not our fault. We just wanna talk about it because we love it. This video should be safe because these photos were taken outside, not on a closed soundstage, so everyone from the public is taking photos of this. So today's video is just talking about the photos that have come out so far and just discussing the suit and my thoughts on the suit, general impression of the suit and what I think they're trying to do and what's going on. So of course, it's not Affleck that is on the bike. So we have Batman on a bat cycle, which is very White Knight inspired, as you can see in this comparison right here. I love it, I love the aesthetic of it. It's got the same aesthetic as his Batmobile from BVS and Justice League. So most of these photos are either from the back or the side, there are no front pics yet, but you watch, I'll edit this video, upload it and then front on pics will emerge online. Eh, nature of the beast, and I just wanna talk about it now. So my first initial thoughts of the suit. I dig it, but it's never gonna be the same as the BVS suit. The BVS suit is just the pinnacle of perfection for bat suits. So this looks like they've repurposed and readjusted the tactical suit from Justice League. I can see similar strapping going on with the thigh pads, we've got the arm pads. Actually, the arms are quite reminiscent of Arkham Knight, just a lot of plating going on. There's a different type of back and rib plating going on the back. The cowl is a Justice League cowl, not the tactical one, but the regular one that Affleck wore in Justice League. Looks like they've repurposed that. And it looks as if they haven't even bothered to trim the flashing around the base of the cow. So they're obviously gonna CGI in a cow because that's just what they fucking do these days. They're just like, ah, put some dots on it and fix it in post. But I also get it, those capes are damn heavy, especially when you're riding a bike. The last thing you want is that cape to get caught in a wheel. The belt does look very similar to the typical style Batfleck kind of belt. We've got the square pouches and then the gold cylinders. Would love to see the front of it. I really do hope they keep that same aesthetic from Justice League and BVS. Also, it must be fucking hot in that suit, man, because everyone's just wearing shorts and shirts over there and they poor stunt guy is in a full bat suit on a bike. Now, one interesting thing about the bike, if we take a look at the front wheel, there are some mocap dots on top of the shell of the wheel, but if we look down the bottom, there's an actual practical wheel and just a facade on top. So they're obviously gonna go in later and digitally alter that wheel to make it functional and like one big giant wheel. But I guess for practicality purposes, you need an actual functional wheel that can turn somewhat. Whereas if they had that big wheel trying to turn, it just would be a no-go. Now I know this is just an angle thing, but look at the bottom of his chin. It looks like it's fused with the top of his chest. And he's wearing goggles. I don't know if that's just for stunt, man purposes or he is going to be wearing goggles like he did with the tactical cowl in Justice League and I'm not gonna lie I hated those goggles but when he had the goggles off I really dug that suit if it were up to me I'd have the tactical actual suit and the BVS cowl as part of that ensemble of the suit and again I know I'm repeating myself but the way the cowl sits on the suit it just looks like it's unfinished the way it rests it doesn't sit flush nice and natural especially with this photo here it's kind of just like huh, put it on again these are candid raw set photos in harsh lighting. You know, no post-production stuff done, no digital stuff done, no color correction, no proper lighting. Which is also weird again, because again, Batman's out in broad daylight. I mean, look at this video here of the stunt guy on the bike just cruising through the street. And look at this guy off to the side here. He's probably an extra, but he's just like, oh, hello. Now there's another video of a car fishtailing it and then heading down a laneway. <laughs> and then Batman just stops on the bike and he's like, Ah, uh, yeah, shit, I can't turn in this thing. And then it's got the Teamsters helping him back it up. See, this is the candid stuff of Batman we never see. So look, overall thoughts, 
I'm digging the direction of this suit. I always wasn't a massive fan of the tactical suit, but I get where they're going. They're trying to repurpose it. In terms of who made the suit, I definitely know it's not Ironhead. There has been confirmation that Ironhead apparently didn't have a hand with Affleck's suit, Keaton's suit, the Flash suit, or the Supergirl suit. I believe all of these suits were made in-house in the UK much like they were doing with Pattinson suit. That suit was also made in-house at the studios in the UK. It would make sense that they're repurposing the tactical suit because they still have the molds in the UK from when they filmed Justice League. And obviously it's also cheaper. And if Affleck's not gonna be a major player in this film, then they don't obviously wanna go all out and make a totally new bat suit. Now I do know for a fact that Affleck is not in Scotland right now filming because this is him right now. He's on a yacht grabbing J-Lo's ass. He's totally doing fine. So guys, there's not much more to say about it. I am digging the direction that they're taking with this. Um, if you look at the undersuit, it looks like just spandex. Nothing looks really textured or glued down. It looks like it's just sitting over some sort of muscle padding or understructure. The boots definitely look different in terms of the typical uh, bronze toe cap boots that we're used to seeing with Batfleck. Again, I just need to see a front on shot. I just wanna see the stunt guy standing there in the street and a nice clear shot and you watch. We'll get it as soon as I upload this video. Again, I'm just glad that Batfleck is back in some way, shape, or form. So guys, drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts on what we can see so far of Affleck's new Batsuit in Annie Muschietti's The Flash film. I guess next up is that big reveal of Keaton in his suit and Affleck in his suit. If it's separate, great. If they're together, holy shit, that's gonna make for an amazing day. Also guys, a massive thank you to your overwhelming response for my 13 years of the Dark Knight video I put up last week. I absolutely had a ball making that. It was very near and dear to me, it tugged at the heartstrings and love reading all your comments of your experience watching the Dark Knight. And also people that have just recently viewed the Dark Knight and love it. I'm just glad to see it still holds up. Guys, wherever you are in the world, have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. I hope you will. Hope you're happy. Be merry, be silly. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.